Hey everyone, welcome back to the Building Your First Lens tutorial series. If you're watching this video, it means you chose to make the world lens experience. If not, then you should go back to the first video. So let's jump right into it. World lenses, or lenses that open on the rear camera, are focused on the user's environment, the things around them. Lenses that open on the rear camera are most engaging when they change the user's environment in some way to make a unique experience. Let's try adding a resource from the Asset Library to get started. First, we'll click on the Asset Library button on the top left. Let's search for something cute, like an elephant. That one looks pretty cute. Let's click Import to add it to our project. Once it's loaded, it'll show up in the Asset Browser. We'll click on the drop-down arrow to open it up, and you'll see there's a green icon that says Elephant, Add to Scene. This is called a prefab, which means we can click and drag it into the scene hierarchy to add it to our lens. Once we've done that, we can see the elephant in our scene. But we want this to be a rear camera experience, so we will go to the preview panel and click the flip camera button on the top right. This will flip our simulation to the rear camera. Next, we need to track this elephant to the ground, so we'll want to add something called device tracking to the camera. Device tracking will tell the camera that we want to find out where the ground is and track objects to it. So let's click on the camera object and in the inspector we will click add component and then search for device tracking. Once we found it, we'll click it to add it to the camera. And once we do this, we'll see that the elephant is really tiny. Let's fix this by clicking the elephant object and then we can either scale it up in the scene panel with the scale tool or adjust the scale in the transform properties located in the inspector panel. I'll increase the scale to 0.25 on the X, Y, and Z axes. Good, that looks better. It's tracking to the scene perfectly. Let's add a little user interactivity to this. We'll go back to the asset library and search for the world object controller and then add it to our project. Let's open up the world object controller dropdown and then drag the prefab into our scene. Now we can delete that example sphere under the world object controller and then drag the elephant in to replace it. Now when we restart the lens by clicking the restart button on the top right of the preview panel, we can click on the elephant and drag it around the scene. This is something that everyone who uses the lens can do as well, which adds a nice bit of interaction to our lens. And this is looking really nice, but I think we should add something more. This is where you get to make your next choice. Do you want to do some basic scripting to add more user interaction? Or do you want to spice up the scene by adding something from the Gen AI suite? Go ahead and make your choice, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.